Hey everyone, this video is to help you with word problems. It is not a complete guide to doing word problems because each teacher has different techniques that they use. Some use cutie pack, some use raft. Um, so this is really just to help you with one step that is going to be true no matter what method your teacher is using if you're solving a word problem. At some point you have to decide what operation the problem is asking you to use. Do they need you to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? And some word problems need you to do more than one of these. For now, this video is just dealing with making that decision for a single operation word problem. So let's take a look at these four operations. So with addition and multiplication, we can put those two kind of together because with addition and multiplication, you are always going to be bringing things together. If something is being added to something else or if different things are all being brought together into one big group, then that is going to be either addition or multiplication. Now, the way you can tell which one it's going to be, if things are being brought together that are equal amounts, that's going to be multiplication. If things are being brought together that are unequal amounts or that are not the same amount, then that's probably going to be addition. In subtraction, on the other hand, things are being taken apart. They're being separated or one thing is being taken away from another. Again, you can tell whether it's going to be subtraction or division because if the amounts are different, it's going to be subtraction. If it's equal groups of the same amount, then it's going to be division. So let's take a look at this in some actual problems. So let's say we have a problem that says there are five birds sitting on a park bench. If three more birds land on the bench, how many birds are there all together? So, we're starting out with five birds, and then three birds are being brought into the group. So we are bringing things together. So this is going to be either addition or multiplication. Now, were the two amounts that were being brought together the same, or were they different? It was five birds, and then we brought in three birds. So the numbers being brought together are different. So this is going to be addition. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So let's take a look at if this were a subtraction problem. So there are 8 birds sitting on the bench, and 3 of the birds fly away. So one amount is being taken away from, or split apart from, or removed from the other. And we're going to wind up with an answer that's smaller than what we started with because we started with 8 and we know that 3 are being taken away from that amount. Now, that's going to be subtraction or division because things are being split apart or taken away or removed. The number's going to get smaller. So, is it subtraction or a division? Well, were the amounts equal or were they unequal? It was uh, 8 birds and we took away 3. So no, those are not equal amounts, so this is subtraction. So we have eight birds minus three birds. We're left with five birds. Okay, let's take a look at some additional problems. If Shanna and her friends each have three oranges and they put them together in one basket, how many oranges do they have in all? Well, are their oranges being split apart or are they being put together? In this case, they are putting them all together into a basket. So her three are going to go in the basket. Her three are going to go in the basket. Her three are going to go in the basket. So we're taking these amounts and we're putting them together. So this is either addition or multiplication. Now, were the amounts the same or were they different? Each girl had three. So this was a group of three, this was a group of three, and this was a group of three. They are equal amounts being brought together. So this is multiplication. And it is going to be three oranges times three girls for a total of nine oranges. Okay, let's look at it going the other way. If Shanna has a basket with nine oranges in it and she shares those oranges equally between her and her two friends, how many oranges does each girl get? Are these oranges being taken apart? or are they being put together? They're being taken apart. Each girl is getting some oranges, right? 
Now, are they going to get equal amounts? So that's going to be subtraction or division. Because each girl is getting oranges. They're being separated. Subtraction or division. Well, are the amounts equal? Or are they each going to get a different amount? Well, it says that they need to share them equally. So each girl is going to get the same number. That means it must be division because we're talking about equal groups. That's really pretty much how you decide. Now, some problems are more complicated than that, and some problems are a little bit harder to understand whether things are being taken apart and put together and whether the amounts are equal or not. But as a general rule, that's a good guide. So let's review. With addition, unequal amounts are being brought together. I have amount 1 and amount 2, and I'm putting them together. Your answer is going to get bigger. With multiplication, equal groups are being brought together. So I've got a group of 4 here, 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 and they're all being put together. That's multiplication. In subtraction and division, we know that things are being taken apart. In subtraction, it's going to be unequal amounts that are being taken apart. So we've got these two different amounts, and they're being split apart. In division, it's going to be equal groups that are being split apart. So four go here, four go here, four go here, four go here. And then I've got some keywords under here that can help you identify which one it is. Um, these aren't 100%. Sometimes, again, word problems can be worded in a way that's a little bit confusing. But as a rule, any word that tells you things are being brought together, all together, in all, they put them together, whatever. Things that tell you things are being, one thing was being added to another. Words that tell you things are being brought together will indicate it's going to be addition or multiplication. So you'll see the same words in both. But the difference is, if you see each per or equal groups, you know it's probably going to be multiplication. Same thing with subtraction. Any word that tells you things are being taken apart, that you're going to have fewer left behind, there's going to be something left, you're taking away, you're giving away, you lost, you sold, whatever. Um, that's going to tell you it's subtraction or division, and then you'll have the additional part of each per equal groups that tell you that it's equal groups that are being split apart, and that's going to be division. So I hope this helps at least some, and um, thanks for watching.